so I'm back with another tutorial hope you guys missed me so just to jump right in I'm going to prime my eyelids with the LA Pro Girl concealer in chestnut and then I'm gonna set it with my orchid setting powder from Bahi Cosmetics I like to do it this way now I know I changed it up from the last time but I find this to be a little more effective for myself so for this neutral eye look, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette from ABH Cosmetics. Uh, this is like my go-to eye look all the time. Goes with any hair that I have, any outfit, any look. It just always works. So right now I'm just using that orange shade that you just saw uh, as a transition color. I'm also going to use this Earth Tone Reddish color as a transition color as well but working that more so into my crease and outer corner and now I'm just blending everything out now you see I'm going to be using this brown shade and also use that in my outer corners and into my crease and I'll also be blending that out as well now I'm just going to be using raw sienna and I'm going to apply that on majority of my lids so now i'm gonna complete this eye look using the sonia castrix gel liner so for lashes everyone always asks what lashes i'm wearing when i have these i actually got these sent to me so i don't know the name of them but our dell lashes are pretty similar to those so that could definitely work as well now for face so this is the big part of this video so right now I'm just going to moisturize slash prime my face with the Bahi Cosmetic uh, Sunflower Serum. So now I'm going to be color correcting with the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Orange. It's actually really funny because I don't even color correct anymore. This video is like a good 3-4 months old so I do need to post another new highlight and contour video. So now I'm going to be applying my all-time favorite foundation, the Becca Evermatte Foundation in Mahogany. So I'm just buffing it out right now. So this video is kind of like a tutorial slash review over this sleek makeup cream contour kit in dark. I decided buying it because I saw a lot of people having it and I saw a lot of good reviews so I said why not. Um, right there I was just showing you guys which colors I was using to highlight and contour. The top row was for highlighting and the bottom was for contour. Um, I used the darkest shade in the highlight because I don't really like my highlight being way too bright. And for me personally, the darkest shade in this dark kit wasn't that dark. Um, I found out later on after I bought it that there was an extra dark. So I would have bought the extra dark because for me personally, it just wasn't dark enough. I guess you can see it right there. Personally, I um, I liked it, but it was it just wasn't dark enough. I think I went back and used a darker powder contour to um, make it pop a little more. I like my contour to, you know, really be seen. So I didn't think it really did its job, but that's my fault for uh, getting the dark instead of the extra dark. But I do like how well it applied. Um, personally, I think it looks great, but I still like uh, to use powder contour more than I do cream contour and you guys will see that later on in later videos and as far as highlight I guess um, I guess I'm so used to using LA Pro Girl concealers that uh, that's just like the number one thing for me and then it's really affordable as well this wasn't uh, expensive though I don't remember the price but I will find it and I will put it in the description box below for you guys
so as you can see now everything is blended out uh, I'm using the orchid setting spray not setting spray setting powder from Bahi cosmetics to set all of my highlighted areas now Sounds like you need help saying my surname, miss. Try to communicate, but every day is like another episode of Everybody Hates Chris. Ever since mom said, son, you are a king. I feel like Floyd when I'm stepping into the ring. Just spoke to the boy, said he's flying. So while I'm baking, I'm going to go into my Morphe 35O palette, use one of the darkest browns to go over my contour, like I said earlier. Um... I just thought it made it look more defined. I like that better than um, just leaving the plain uh, cream contour on there. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. Yeah, I love the summer, I respect the rain. Look forward to good times, can't forget the pain. I was the kid in school with the 10 pound shoes, white socks, jack ups and the pepper green. Said they're gonna respect me for my ambition. Rest in peace, my niggas that I'm missing. I had to tell my story because they'd rather show you black kids with flies on their faces on the television. After baking, I like to set my whole face with either the Black Radiance uh, powder or the CoverGirl powder. Both are in the shade Coco. So in this video, I did use the Black Radiance powder and I'm just putting that all over my face. So now I'm going back in with Vermeer, the color or the shade that I use for my eyebrow highlight to put into my tear duct now. Y'all, I don't even know why I put that much into my tear duct. I'm just watching this video. And I would have done so many things differently, Lord, since it was just so long ago. Um, and a lot can change in four months. I, I do things a lot differently as far as my face now. So, um, while I was talking, I started applying my Bahi Cosmetics Jasmine Highlight. This is the best highlighter. Like, I love it so much. I just can't explain. I can't explain. No, no. Yeah. Look, it's gonna be a long, long time before we stop. Boy, better know they better know who made the scene pop. All I ever needed was a chance to get the team hot. Only thing I fear is a headshot or a screenshot. Free me, them a free me. You know they only call me when they need me. I never go anywhere, they never see me. I'm the type of thing. And now I'm just lining my lips or over, over, oh Jesus, over lining them with a brown liner. Do y'all ever look back at y'all old makeup looks and be like, what am I doing? That's how I feel when I see all of my old videos and pictures of me overlining my lips. Cause now I just do it so differently. But here I am using the NYX lingerie lippy in Teddy. And over Teddy, I am using a NYX Gloss in Stone Foxy, and I am just looking like, huh? It's just so different, even though it was just four months ago. And to top it all off, I am using Bahi Cosmetics Setting Spray in Honeysuckle. And if you ever use this spray, it, it, it like burns. You could feel it work. It like tightens and everything. 
and here's the finished product i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna be back with more videos like comment subscribe tell me what else you want to see from me and i will see you guys next time yeah, I love this